So last time we talked, we met Alexis Ketta, the founder of My Legacy Challenge. Alexis went on the hunt for a rich daddy. She met Roy D. Dillon at the gym and Christopher Volkov on a blind date, which didn't go well. After loads of arguing, Christopher absolutely dragged her into oblivion. After the fight, Alexis declared Christopher as her enemy. Dramatic music and all. She was determined to make his life, however, long that may be, considering his oldest living hell. Alexis ended the date early. We know the date was unsuccessful, but thanks for reminding us game. Alexis cleaned herself up and proceeded to look for more wallets. I mean daddies. She met another old dude whose name I honestly can't remember, not like it matters anyways. What matters is that retirement fund. The old dude was actually really nice to Alexis and they managed to actually have a conversation without arguing once. They both seemed to be very immersed in the conversation until he suddenly just left. Um. Okay then. She then remembered how rent was going to be due soon. And honestly, this influencer career really wasn't making her the best money. So, Alexis got creative and decided to make a Spicy Star account. She started a live stream and it was immediately a hit. She was raking in so much money so quickly, and her viewers couldn't get enough of her. She then worked on her promotion tasks, one of them being to upload a new business headshot. Ah yes, perfect. Exactly how she should be perceived. Easy money. But it still wasn't enough. Alexis went back to the park to search for collectibles once again, and this time, there were actually plenty. I love when this game actually cooperates with me. Alexis searched the park high and low, left and right, for any more potential wallets, when her eyes stumbled upon a promising figure. Bjorn Bjorsen, Alexis approached him confidently. Bjorn was definitely up to her standards physically. He was older than her, but not old, and he was good looking. She got to know him and found out he was a spy. I don't know if you should just be giving that info out man, but okay. She found out he has the gloomy, slob, and good traits. Well, you sure know how to pick them girl. She kept her hopes high and started to flirt with him, only for him to reject her advances. She became embarrassed when she learned he was married. Not only that, but he found her unattractive. Oh girl, that's rough. She continued testing her luck, the luck she doesn't have, and tried flirting again, and eventually, he gave in. Typical man. It seems now that Alexis has a good pool of potential daddy candidates. Should she go after Roy, this old fuck, or Bjorn? 